<laughs> Boy, this is crazy. This is crazy. Come on, man, this girl's special. Mm. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah. ah. Ah. Creed 3 stars another actor we saw not too long ago playing the villain of the film, Jonathan Majors in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And even though that film got some mixed reviews, Creed is one of those franchises that doesn't disappoint. <laughs> With its first installment airing in 2016 and second in 2018, fans have been patiently waiting for a third to come out. Do you want to talk about the fact that your daughter right now needs you here? Do you want to talk about the fact that I I'm, need you here? I'm right here. Now that it finally is, having a release date of March 3rd in the US, fans can't wait for it to release and while we wait, we thought we could take a look at some of the behind the scenes moments and some bloopers as well. <laughs> But before we get into more of these moments, some trivia for you. What is Ricky Conlon's nickname? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. Why'd you lie to me? I put money up for you. Here we can see a lot of behind the camera moments between the director, cinematographer, and Michael B. Jordan, who plays Adonis Creed. Yep. Ready? Okay, we're ready. Set. Aside from on the camera moments, we can appreciate the funny interview moments like this one. Have you seen the first tweets that this film has generated? It's a lot. They're there. <laughs> My brother, they have a brother has, so, so it based off his face. Not there. Michael even talks about his influences while putting this film together. Different ways to elevate the boxing and, and the fights and make them feel bigger and, and look different. You know, I think IMAX just gave me the, the real estate to do so. You know, I wanted to, to show the, you know, from the cloud to the canvas. That was something that, like we said often, um, as we were kind of like shooting these fights. After the events of Creed II, Adonis Creed is thriving in both his boxing career and family life. When a childhood friend and former boxing prodigy, Damian Anderson resurfaces after serving a long sentence in prison, he is eager to prove that he deserves his shot in the ring. Tessa Thompson also stars alongside these two actors as Bianca Taylor, and we can also see glimpses of her behind the camera looking at certain scenes. Though this will be the first film in franchise history that won't feature original star Sylvester Stallone, trailers for the movie show it will still be filled with the grit, romance, and compelling fight scenes fans have come to love. You didn't have your hands full in that one. Gonna, we already do. And fans of the Creed series will see plenty of familiar faces from the first two films, including Michael B. Jordan, who not only is reprising his role as Adonis Creed, but will be making his directorial debut with this film. What's so funny? I'm quiet now. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to convince your mom to come and live with us, and then I have a, a braider that's only going to play. <laughs> 
But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. Jonathan Majors discusses his character growth alongside Adonis. In his youth, uh, they grew up together. Um, they were, they were like brothers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so much effect that um, uh, an incident uh, happens and uh, they part ways. We can also appreciate the physicality of the film and just what the actors had to do in order to train for a role like this. Early private releases of this film have already been shown to certain people and the film has been praised for its portrayal of these people and their past. And it seems like whenever a story starts to delve into the past, it catches a lot of people's attention. If we look back at Jonathan Major's life, we can see that he has some similarities when it comes to this character. Jonathan said, I found myself getting into fights, being bullied, and then retaliating. From 14 years old and on, theater was the one constant thing in his life. He said he was motivated by that emotionality, that impulsivity, that need to connect. He just wanted to be in the world and part of it. We're going to stay on you the whole time, so stay in it. We're going to stay on you the whole time, all the way back to the corner. Yep. And be a part of it he did, as he has starred in not only Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania just recently for Marvel, but of course this film as well. And we will get to see more of him in the MCU as he is now the main antagonist of the next phase. During a promotional interview for Men's Health magazine, Jonathan gives us a behind the scenes look at how he specifically had to train for this role. Training and working out are very important to me. I try to challenge myself uh, to get to a place to express things in the gym the same way I do in my line of work. We can switch back to Michael B. Jordan and what he had to say about working with the rest of the cast and getting to know Adonis Creed outside of boxing. You know, I think Adonis finally, you know, took the weight of his father and his trauma, his dad's trauma off of his shoulders, you know? I think he stopped blaming his dad for um, a lot of his current situation. Lastly, we can look at Tessa Thompson on working on this film in the next chapter. I think there's so many things that make this next chapter unique. I think first and foremost, my directing is a tremendous thing in the context of our films. Creed 3 marks the first movie in the Rocky franchise not to feature Sylvester Stallone as Rocky Balboa. However, the saga will press ahead with Michael B. Jordan and Tessa Thompson leading the charge. During a recent interview with Good Morning America, Tessa Thompson discussed learning ASL for Creed 3 and how it's incorporated into the story. ASL is just one of the ways the characters communicate with each other in the film, and it doesn't define Amara's personality. When we see pictures of the first film, we're like, goodness, we're such babies. You know, we both own companies now. Yeah. Like Bianca, I'm producing myself. So I think we've matured a, a lot, but what remains between us is an incredible amount of love. The prospect of a fourth installment of Creed is currently unknown. There are rumors, however, that there could be a spin-off film called Drago. Actor Dolph Lundgren said on Instagram, just to set the record straight regarding a possible Drago spin-off. And you know Damien's had my back. 
before you even knew how. Action! Maybe after. All right, here we go, and action. As far as the answer to our trivia question, Freddy was the nickname of Ricky Conlon. Tony Bello plays his character and is a professional boxer himself, which is pretty interesting seeing one boxer play another. They don't have phones in jail? Sorry, baby, sorry. Well, no, what happens? The important thing is that he's here now. Thank you. So what do you guys think about all these moments and what are your expectations of this film? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys.